Welcome back to our Yevon Cup coverage, and if you're just joining us, you'll see that the Pesero Orcs have beaten the Guadaglorias 2-0, and the Luka Goers have taken on the Albed Sykes, which means the final we've all been waiting for. Yes indeed, friends, what a grudge match this is. A grudge match of the century, truly. The Besaid Aurochs versus the Luka Goers, and what a matchup this is. Until earlier this year, the Goers were the undisputed top team, having won many tournaments in a row, until Titus' new Besaid Aurochs beat them. They shattered the odds, and they beat the Luka Goers in the final to win their first tournament ever. Many people question them still. Was it just luck? Was it just a fluke? Can they do it again without their legendary Captain Waka who has now retired? Well, it turned out there were more changes in store for Bethsaid Orox. Their new coach and manager has revolutionized the team entirely, changing out a lot of players, drafted a team from all around the world, and put together a team of freelancers and new talents. And under the hand, of Titus, their guiding superstar, they are a team with much promise. But can they repeat the one in a million miracle and take home the trophy again? The Luka Goers are here to shut them down and prove they are still the best team on Spira. There's a lot of emotion to play here, folks. Everything is on the line in this final grudge match. Our Yevon Cup Grand Final the Besaid Orox versus the Luka Goers. And it's Blitz off. The ball is immediately catched by Tsats, originally from Kilika. He is the new midfielder for the Besaid Orox, and he is doing amazingly so far. He throws a pass all the way down to Salads in the defense. He is swimming around as a solid defender. He's deciding to pass straight over to Wedge. Wedge! Luca's own Wedge! For a long time, this man dreamt of joining the Luca Goers, and he even took a job as stadium security out of love for the game. But after slowly becoming disillusioned by the attitude of the Goers' current roster, he took a chance on this new Besaid Aurox team. A versatile player, he's currently showing his skills in the defensive position, even though he's itching to show off his sharpshooting skills. Here we go, there Grav is tying a shot immediately! Will it go past the team? No, Salads grabs it immediately! Salads is an experienced sailor, he knows the ins and outs of moving in water. He's new to Blitz, but he has been a talented defender so far! Here we go, he withstands one tackle from Abus. He almost takes the tackle from Bixen, but he does grab the ball! Here we go, is he going to take a shot? Salads is there to defend! The pass comes! It's caught! Salads grabs the ball. Will he be able to break free from the two offensive Luka goers? We don't know. There we go. He does seem to be clear. But Bixen has caught him and, and is not about to let him go. Truly, Salads never expected to play Blitz. He never thought he really had any talent for it. But the eagle-eyed talent scout of the Besaid Orcs has found him and placed him in the defense where he's doing well. Salads passes the ball over to Velucha, the right forward of the Besaid Aurox. She's looking to get a good pass off, plays it safe, throws it back to Tats. Tats, with the arm of gold, sends a long one. It seems like he's trying to go past. He throws his patented nap pass, known to put his opponents to sleep if they hit them. But they can't even hit them, but there we go! Abbas has fallen asleep! The ball goes free to Titus! Here comes the superstar! A splits player with a skill we haven't seen in a thousand years! He's approaching the goal! He's alone! He's not alone, there's two defenders, but we've seen this, folks! The sublimely... Su sorry, make that sublimely magnificent! Jack shot mark three, one defender down, two defenders down! Here we go with the beautiful spin kick! And will this hit the goal? Yes, it will! 1 0 to the Besaid Arc, starting off strong in this first matchup. As we calm down here a little bit, we can have a talk, time to talk about Titus. This is a legendary Blitz player that's come seemingly out of nowhere. A talent the likes haven't seen for at least a thousand years. A, a unique move he does, that jack shot that no other players seem to be able to imitate. He's arguably the best Blitz player in the world, and he's, not only that, he has proven to be an excellent team leader, bringing together all these people from all around Spira into one cohesive, well-oiled machine. 
Well, here we go. Grav is taking the shot. It's straight up in the open, but it goes right into the hands of Jumal, who gets his super goalie skill on, and he grabs it. Ah, oh, gets a hand on it. Salas, however, gets it safe. If he can get a good position, there we go. He's not being attached by anyone. So the pass goes straight to Edge. There we go. Wedge is free. He's swimming forwards now, looking for an opportunity. Sending it again to Tats. Ah, uh, what a tragic and inspiring story this is. Tats lost his family in the recent attack by Sin on Kilika. He got affected by Sin's toxin and he remembered nothing. For a while he was only sitting alone on the Kilika docks, not knowing where to go or what to do. But he kept his hopes up. His iron will kept him from succumbing to despair. Here we go, Veluccia is reaching the end, there's only one defender, can she break through? She's taking the shot! Here we go, and it gets a hand on it, but it goes past and it's a goal! 2-0 for the Besaid Aurox. I haven't even begun to talk about Veluccia, folks, there's so many stories in this new Aurox team. Grav grabs the ball, Luca Gore is furious now, shown up at 2-0 by this team they were supposed to beat. Lucha is not exactly known for being a good defender, and Grav manages to hold on to the ball. He swims for an opening. Can he do it? He's being pursued. There is three man on defense. He's trying to throw a pass. No luck. As Salas gets a hand on it, Wedge misses, but the referee has whistled for the end of the halftime. Well, 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 I think we're seeing they're coming out to play this game, folks. Besaid Aurochs are just playing with the Luka Goers, it seems like. We thought this was going to be a more even match, but so far the Luka Goers have not managed to grab much of an attention in this fight. But they are furious. It seems like they're having a timeout there. They're discussing tactics. They seem angry. Maybe not. Well, now they're cheering, to they're cheering together. They look like they're they have a plan. They're going out for this now, but... We know these Luka Goers, they, they've been very brutal in the past and we're hoping they're playing it, playing it nice and clean. We want a clean final here in the Evan Cup. Blitz off. Tats grabs the ball. He's swimming forwards, trying to find a way to go. Uh, he, he's playing it safe. He's going back far, but he has that golden arm that can send the pass really far. It flies straight past three Luka players all the way to Titus, the superstar. Can he make it past the defender? He does. He's swimming quickly. If he can get to the goal without being circled by more people, there we go. Only two. We've seen this one before, friends. We know what's coming. One defender down. Two defenders down. And there comes that beautiful spin kick. How does he do it? We don't know and no one can seem to do it. And in it goes. Sorry, Roddy. You're not going to be able to grab that one. Luka Gower is now down three goals. They need four to win and now even three just to equalize. This is going to be a long road back to victory for the Gowers. They have only about four minutes left of the half. Titus is tempted to grab the ball already, but he doesn't generally tackle very hard, so Grav is safe with the ball for now. He's being followed by Tats, though. On defense, he seems to be doing okay, but can't quite grab it. Grav is a tough one. He now has an open field for the goal, but he's being pursued by Wedge. Could possibly be getting a defense here. He's trying it. Wedge is going to defend. Here we go. I can't quite grab it. Is this going to be the shot that they're waiting for? Grav tries it. But you can't get past Jumal the Wall. A family man through and through. He's dedicated every game to his family, his wife and his kids. To his family, he's a hero. And to his team, he is a brilliant goalkeeper. Now Velucha is going towards the goal. Up in the open. She's trying the shot! She can possibly do it. Is it possible? It's going in! What a shot from Velucha. Originally, she wanted to train as a summoner back from Besaid, but she found her immense talent in the blitz ball. That's her new way of giving hope to the people of Spira. She is still wearing the traditional Besaid summoner garb. She proudly represents her homeland in their colors and their name. She tries to tackle, not quite enough. Grav is a tough one, and he's desperate now. Throws a long pass. Bixen grabs it, the star scorer of the Luka Gores. Out of the side of the field, though, it's gonna be tough here. The Salads is on his tail. 
Here we go, he's trying the shot immediately, seems a little bit optimistic. The block car from Salads, and this should be easy peasy for Jamal the Wall. Indeed, it's in his hands. Here we go with the throw. Go straight on to Salads again. Can he break through? He's going to try a pass. Would be risky, but in fact, I am suspect that Bixen won't be able to grab it that easy. He's throwing to Velucha. Is it gonna work? It did! Velucha is free with the ball. No one is quite following her there on the edge, but is it possible that she can do it? There's two on defense. This might be a tough one. She's trying to break to one and then trying for a pass. No, she's trying for a shot! But here comes the Venom tackle! And Doram grabs the ball. Can they do something now? They have only a minute left. This this one seems like it's in the bag, folks. Do the Lugagors have any hope of this victory? The nap tackle from Salads. He grabs the ball, shutting down the hopes and dreams of the Lugagors. He's trying a quick pass before he gets encircled by the enemy. Sends it back to Tats. Tats is surrounded, but his golden arm can send it far. He's not even bothering with the break. He's throwing it straight past. With his patented nap pass, it's going all the way to Titus. Grav gets a hand on it, but it's not enough. And here we go. The game is about to end. The last couple of seconds of the game, and Titus is at the goal. How will they do this? How can they stop him? He's trying the shot, a normal shot. Ah, oh, Balgera grabs the ball. It seems like the Lukers stopped it from hitting the 5-0. But this is it, folks. This is the end. This last minute pass isn't gonna work. It's a 4-0 sweep. The Besaid Aurox has beaten Lukagoras again. And nowadays there is no question. We have a new top team in Spira. This this worldwide international team of superstars led by Titus, Velucha, Tats, Wedge, Salads, and Jumal are our champions, my friends. And as the Guado Glories beat the Albed Sykes for the consolation final, we have our top three. Thank you very much for watching, folks. This has been the Evan Cup. Uh, we also see that the top scorer is Titus, only followed by his own teammate, Velucha. So not only are we going to give the first prize, the attack reels, to Titus' team, we're also going to give Titus himself the top scorer bonus of a renamed card. Thank you very much for watching, folks. Blitz out.